So for today, we're going to be looking at the Worm Guard stuff for the Titans. If you guys know, we already reviewed the armor and the shader video is both right here. You guys can check it out. Hunters, you already have your video. It's right here. And for this video, we're going to do what we essentially did for the Hunter video, which is essentially get the Worm Guard armor set, get pieces from those from that set and then make individual sets from those pieces. So I know I say this all the time, but it's because you might never know when new people are here. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because my content, I have a lot of content uh, that I go through and it's just me. So I would really appreciate a like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification if you want to keep up with my current content, because I do think my content is worth it. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet, and I definitely think this one is super cool for the shader and dreaming spectrum is what we're, going to, what we're going to be using because there's a lot of things that I kind of find annoying about this set. So first and foremost, arms of optimacy for the arms, just because I feel like they go really well with everything else. Then we're going to be using heart of inmost light without an ornament. The boots are going to be the Caremore and Greaves, and then the mark we're going to be using the Night Need Noir mark. So this one I actually really like a lot, just because it gives, it leans into that night look a lot. Not saying the helmet has that look, but I just surprised myself with it. I definitely like this set. I will say the reason we're using Dreaming Spectrum is because it combines everything into one cohesive style. Because the Caremore and Greaves shaders pretty terribly. Um, the Arms of Optimacy have engravings on the actual pauldrons that I didn't want any other color. And the other annoying is the fact that since we're using Heart of the Most Light without an ornament, that blue like bullets almost like almost what it looks like, that doesn't change color. So that that's on the back as well. So I wanted to just combine it into one cohesive color so that way I don't have anything annoying me. So, uh, the other thing is the helmet actually has an off color in there as well as you guys can see from the slit it's a deeper bone color which is not usually something you've seen with the dreaming spectrum which is why i was like you know what fuck it we'll just you can, we're just gonna use dreaming spectrum because that is the best shader to just make into one cohesive look as for the next set i ended up going for a more disheveled i guess you would say i don't know this is really weird because it's asymmetrical up the ass for the actual pieces, we're going to be utilizing the arms and the boots just because I feel like those two are the weakest portions. Even though I said the boots are really cool in the review video, actually utilizing them in a set is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. So for the helmet, we're going to be using one-eyed mask for the chest piece like Kim plate. And then for the mark, we're going to be using the iron foreigner mark with the shadering nougat delight or however you say that. I like, I love the shader. The shader is one of my favorite shaders, but Let's talk about what we're doing here. So again, like I said, I'm going for a disheveled, very asymmetrical look. But the other thing is I'm making sure that my mark is being used in a way where it actually covers up a lot of the emptiness that the boots have because the boots, unfortunately, do have a lot of emptiness to them. And then the reason light can play to being used is because it gives off that asymmetrical look as well because of the shadering. You see that the plate actually has like one side. It's like the main bone color and then the other side is that green. So I wanted to just add a little bit more asymmetrical piece to that because again this whole set is just asymmetrical up the ass and instead of just trying to like alleviate that i just decided to lean into it and then for the one eyed mask honestly the whole thing was just like one there's one eye on the left side and there's no eye on the right side as well so like asymmetrical again and the shadering i think just goes really well with it, it makes everything pop which is what i like and overall I actually don't hate this. I'm actually pretty happy with this one eyed mask look. I mean, to be fair, I make a lot of these looks for one eyed mask where it's just kind of like like a hobo almost. But I feel like one eyed mask looks really good with that style, spe spe specifically, specifically with the no ornament look. The actual ornament looks amazing and I make really cool sets with that. That's not hobo looks. As for the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece. And this one's interesting in the sense that I actually surprised myself with just how cool this one looks. So for the helmet, a pilot's following helm. The chest piece is obviously the worm guard. The arms is going to be Mimi and Gauntlets. And then for the mark, we're going to be using night. We're going to be using the nightly new war mark. For the exotic, we're actually going to be using a band leap, which is interesting but not that interesting band leaps i'm trying i'm beginning to like really use heavily just because a they're dope exotics but they also look amazing so for this one i ended up going for the nemean gauntlets and chess piece combo because a the chess piece has chainmail under it which i wanted to lean into and i remember that the nemean gauntlets actually has chainmail the only problem and the reason why we're using continuum alloy is because the 
<laughs> unfortunately the chainmail on the chest piece and the arms take colors differently so that one you're gonna be really annoyed because you're gonna have to like try um you don't have to but for me i want to combine the chainmail so it looks like i'm actually wearing like a chain chainmail shirt um so i decided to try to combine the colors into one continuum alloy i knew was going to do it because most of the time it co does combine the colors and i was not surprised the only annoyance i could say is that i really wanted a pilot's following helm the actual red to be there because the glow for continuum alloy is red so i think the best thing for this one would be to find a shader that gives you a close silver sheen but the problem is this one has a very blue sheen and you guys will see when you actually notice it turn it has this very distinct color and unfortunately i don't think any other shader will give you that so at this point you might as well just try to go for another shader that not only combines the chain mill into one color but also has a red glow to it because i feel like that would be really cool because obviously the glow from the boots and then the glow from the helmet are going to be really cool together so that is the problem that people are going to go for but again this is really dope let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we have this weird concoction that i made don't get me wrong i actually kind of like it in a really weird way so for the helmet hex rot helmets where we're using iron 400 gauntlets for the arms a photic lamellar for the greaves and then for the mark we're going to be using the actual mark from the worm guard set for the exotic arbor warden is what we're using and this is where like my head just goes into like what the fuck would i was i thinking not saying it looks bad it just looks so different than what i usually make so for the shader right royal treatment is what we're using just because uh i'm trying to lean into that purple because i feel like uh arbor warden looks really or works really well with void or a uh, strand other than that i don't think it goes well with the other classes just because this one specifically uh, if you guys don't know i haven't reviewed it in the video in the channel unfortunately but Using your class ability channels defensive light out inward, providing a grenade that creates a barricade on impact, which means essentially you can throw your grenade and give your friends who are far away shield, uh, or you can use your grenade with strand to throw your um, your barricade farther, which is pretty cool. So I would usually do it for void just because that's going to be the most fun for me. But for this one, I honestly, my whole thing was, I think, I decided Arbor Arbor I decided that Arbor Warden was what I was gonna use for this. And then immediately it was like, okay, well if I'm going for this, it's gonna have like an overgrown look because the chess piece has like like the flowers and whatnot. And then uh the worm guard mark just has a lot of that like again that like picked up it's been used a lot so i decided to lean into that which is why i ended up using the hex rot helm because it gives off that overgrown vibe a little bit more and then the iron forerunner and the aphotic greaves i feel like just came in just because the aphotics have that like really cool thigh armor that has a lot of lines to it and i was like that looks really cool with everything else and then the iron forerunner because of the horns honestly my i'm like do this does this look cool and will i use this as a back pocket set for my arbor warden yeah this definitely does look cool for me to the point where it actually will be in my back pocket if i want to have a style for arbor warden but i definitely think people will find it weird or just terrible which is completely fair because i even noticed that it's just it's very weird it very looks it looks very ramshackled and like each piece like i don't know it's so weird let me know what you guys think i definitely think the third one is my favorite and the first one probably just because those hit more of my style but this one is definitely like a i like where my head went with this one because it's not something i would usually make so let me know what you guys think titans what are you guys doing with this armor set are you guys liking it let me know in the comments below i'm gonna be honest with you guys this armor set is really cool it's just very challenging i guess you would say so again, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.